YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Chuka the Barber. I'm back with another video. We got a fresh taper for y'all with a full Philly beard. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that Philly beard, the one that Freeway from Rockefeller rocked, you know what I mean, back in the day. So uh, we're gonna get right into it, man. Uh, as always, I'm gonna shampoo and condition my clients here with the Pro Rich Collection. Make sure we get his hair silky smooth. You can see he has a full dark head of hair for this taper, so I'm not gonna really take it down too long. I'm gonna keep it dark on top. I'm gonna skin taper it. Y'all see, just stay to the end, man. But as always, I'm in the Rich Barber Hair Studio in West Hollywood. We got two locations also in Sacramento. Tap in, pull up, we'll get you fresh. All right, so we're gonna start right now. I got the Andis Masters. I got a one-fourth guard on there, and I'm going with the grain, and I'm starting off with a higher guard because I wanna just gradually take it down, make sure I keep the waves, make sure I don't, you know, start off trimming it too low. So I'm getting a feel for his hair, making sure I don't over trim it. All right, and then I'll gradually bring in the lever and continue to go with the grain until I lay down the hair at a length where I feel like I want it. But I'm gonna actually throw a one eighth guard, open up the lever and, and trim it up a little bit with that too, as you can see. But I'm, I'm gonna leave the top alone. I'm gonna just hit the sides because I want the sides to lay down real clean. And I'm gonna hit the, around the hairline area to make sure I lay down those hairs so I can control them for the lineup, all right? Now make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, I'm dropping videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday right here on my channel. I appreciate the support so far. We are gonna keep this thing popping, all right? So make sure to stay tapped in. Now I got my Andis T outliners. I'm gonna set my guidelines for the taper, all right? So I'm gonna go just about to the tip of the ear. You can see that right there. That's gonna be skinned out. We are gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now, before we get into the lineup, I'm gonna take the enhanced hold spray and spray it across the hairline, dry that out. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna create my first guy line in the back. All right, trimming up around the hairline area. Again, this is for control. This part gotta be laid down. You know, you never wanna have that like bulging out. Especially with, you know, with tapers, you want to make sure that's clean. So uh, get the area around the hairline, lay that hair down real good, trim it if you have to. Make sure the prep work is on point. Now I'm going to begin the lineup, okay? I'm going to start from the corner, bring it towards the center. And you can see the corner where it's light. I'm ghost right now, right? I'm, I'm going to just hit that imaginary line until I reach the part where there's hair. So I'm going from that corner, but I'm not going up into the hair or the thick hair. I'm just gonna ghost ride it. Uh, and we'll fill that in with some enhancements later. You know, just notice that you don't wanna go back in there. You don't wanna push that back, all right? So we're gonna hit the C cups. Now I like to line up my clients before I actually start the tapers that way I can see the taper come together I could gauge it I got my markers I know where I'm at during the taper so it really helps me visually when I'm tapering it really helps me gauge where I'm at know where I'm at see the taper coming together see how my blend is looking as it's coming together so I always line up before I do a taper especially if it's a first-time client First time clients, you're not sure how high you should take the taper, how low you should take it because it's the first time. So you wanna see it come together so you can play off the shape of their head and what will look best on them, all right? So now I'm gonna hit the other corner again. You can see I'm ghost right in that corner and I'm gonna bring it to the center. And we're gonna create that V shape, but you know we'll end up rounding it out. I mean, just right there in the front, we'll, we'll cut the widow's peak off. Now this is pretty much the technique I use every time I line up, but especially when you're lining up with someone with a hairline like his, you definitely wanna take this approach. All right, now we're gonna start the taper, I got the lever closed on the masters, and I'm gonna start blending my way up, making a small adjustment, 
blending up a little more another small adjustment blending up a little more same thing another small adjustment and you can see i'm, I'm conservative with the, how high i take the taper because yeah this is my first time cutting them you know i'm not overextending myself i'm watching things come together and based on how that hair reacts how the taper starts looking that's how i'm gonna you know adjust then we got the 1 guard on lever all the way open and i'm gonna blend up and bring the lever down as I come down and then I'm gonna throw a one eighth on there. Start with the lever open and start blending my way down. I wanna keep it dark around the, above like the C cup area where the corners is. I want it to stay dark around there. So I'm gonna be careful with how much I trim there because I want that like clean tight taper with just that, you know, darkness and then it goes right into the waves. So now I got a one fourth guard on there and I got the lever all the way open and I'm gonna do the same thing, take it up slightly. This is gonna allow me to keep it dark above the taper. Using the corner of the blade to do some detail work. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now once I taper one side, I pretty much know how the hair is reacts to the clipper how the hair reacts to the length that i cut it so usually the opposite side taper is easy i just flow right through it because i already know how the hair is reacting i already know how it's fading i already you know got a feel for it so you know i can knock it out a lot faster but that first side i always you know i, I take my time I, I i learn the hair we're gonna throw on the guards we're gonna hit them with the 116th Now after the tapers, I usually go back, line them up, get it a little sharper. I'm gonna hit the back taper. Same technique. You know, you can see where he has that dip in the back of his head. I'm gonna try to not go up all the way up into that. When I get to that part, I should have a one eighth guard on or a one fourth, but I don't wanna be up in that area with the blade or with a 116th garden because it's gonna it's gonna be hard for me to actually taper that in fade it in with the with the rest of the hair on the side so i'm gonna keep from going up in there and i'm gonna try to keep that taper right below in the darkness it'll blend right into the, the bulk of the hair you see i'm combing the hair in the direction that it's growing and i'm stroking the clipper the opposite direction that is going against the grain that allows me to get that tight clean blend And you can see I have the one eighth and I'm, I'm staying below the crease in the back of his head. That way I don't have to fight with it. That way, I, you know, I'm gonna keep in that area dark. This is gonna allow me to get this taper looking right without any frustration, all right? Now with the one fourth, I can bring it all the way up to about the ear, top of the ear. You know, I want that area to lay down clean and, and smooth. So uh, we're gonna trim that up. At the beginning of the video, I said this was a Philly beard, happens to be, he is from Philly. And uh, man, shout out to Philly. I've been to Philly a couple times, love the culture there. And of course, you already know, love the Philly cheesesteaks, man. The motherfuckers, is, they different. Hell yeah. Had one of those like every day I was out there. <laughs> but we're gonna line up his neck, get the neck right, get around the ears right. You can see how easy it is for me to line it up, how clean it looks because I already prepped it, I already trimmed it down. So this makes my job easier. So that's why the prep work is so important, right?
Now I'm gonna pick out the Philly beard, man. We gonna pick that thing all the way out. We're not gonna trim it much. We just gonna clean it up a little bit. Get it shaped right. We might need to call this the freeway Philly cut, huh? The freeway Philly cut. You're gonna have to put the photo of freeway on the side of it, man. So uh, quick line up. Keeping it looking full and thick. Touch up the mustache real quick. Quick razor work, we're gonna hit him with the razor. Get it nice, clean, them edges right. That beard looking right. Follow up with the hairline. Now I'm gonna add the enhanced hold spray. We're gonna spray it across the hairline before we put the enhanced hair fibers in there. This is the Pro Barber Kit 2, complete kit. Comes with the hold spray, the fibers, the application pump, and the clear application card. We're gonna use the clear application card to apply it to the hairline, keep it off the head though, but help me apply it precisely. And we're, gonna, we're not gonna overdo it. And we're using dark brown, because his hair is, of course, you can see it's more on the dark brown side. So we'll enhance that. Make sure to keep it looking natural. And then once we're done applying the fibers, we're gonna follow up with the liners and hit that line up one last time, making those fibers pop and stand out, giving it that them final touches that's gonna make our work stand out so we can so we can promote our work and ourselves to a higher status so we can attract clients, keep them in charge more. Y'all already know. I mean if you if you if you want that, if you want the book on how to do that, you can get the free ebook link in the description or visit the website, therichbarber.com. You can get the, the free ebook, The Rich Barber Method, How to Attract Clients, Keep Them in Charge More. A game changing book that has changed thousands of lives and, and helped many barbers, thousands of barbers make more money. Um, Cause yeah, man, it's our labor of love, but that don't mean you can't get paid doing it, all right? Little sheer work. Man, that cut looks fly. Now we're gonna take the Pro Rich Beard Oil and apply it to that Philly beard. This is a non-greasy formula that has innovative ingredients to help strengthen the beard, help promote hair growth in the beard conditions it, softens it, doesn't give you all that greasiness though, you know what I mean? We're gonna enhance the beard a little bit with a little fibers, do that real light. And uh, he right, he in there, fresh taper, kept it dark on the top, full beard. That is one of my favorites though, I like this. Yeah, here's Keith. In there, this is the jaw. <laughs> Baby on the top, the third, you got the You too, what's up? Chuka the Barber here. I want to thank all y'all that's been rocking with me since day one. Currently at 197,000 subscribers. I'm trying to push that thing all the way up to 200. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I got videos dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from now on. So come tap in, rock with me. I'm going to take it to a whole nother level. 